as you've heard, welcome back to Splatoon 3. Today, we are moving to site five of the story mode. We 100% completed site four last episode, of course, and that took a bunch of work, especially as you can see here, it was the largest level yet. So I wonder if site five will be the same. What's interesting is that we could have skipped site four entirely if we take a look at the map. You know, we got it here, but there were two ways to get over. We could have gone from site three all the way over to site five directly. But we're just gonna do it this way, and we'll see what ends up happening. I might go back to site three later to unlock that path. What did they even do with these pipes? Oh no, uh, I don't wanna think about it. Eco forest, tree hills is our next area. Phew, you made it pretty far, huh? I guess so. Looks like you can get to another site from there. Very cool. That pipe must be the way back. Hmm, still no response from Gramps, figures. Well, let's see what we can find here, good luck. All right then, so yeah, here's our next site. But like I said, I'm a little bit curious if we go back to site three and I jump over and open it up from this side, what will we end up finding? Will it, will it be different? I'm not really quite sure. So we're going to open that side up and go over to site five just from there. So if this is sort of the last thing I need to open up, I didn't have enough at the time, but now I have the 2000 ready for it. I don't think there'll be anything to collect around here. So I think we're good. Yeah, just to sort of hop onto this. I just wanna see if there's any extra dialogue from Agents 1, 2. Uh, this pipe is ridiculously long. Yes, it is. And whoa, close a few of the fuzziest rocket in history to your right. I don't know if I can even wrap myself in a fuzzy blanket again after seeing this. That was a lot of fuzz. Okay then, so there is some different dialogue there, so I'm glad I got to check it out. I might jump back over there again. It doesn't really matter too much. We're still, you know, here in the Eco Forest Hills or whatever it was called. And we're just gonna do our best to find all the levels we can in today's episode, of course, and collect all the collectibles along the way. We've been doing a great job so far exploring everything in this game and getting all the different unlockables and stuff. It's been a ton of fun. And I just gotta keep that going. So let's hop into one of these. Oh wait. So got a good view from up here. But you can see there were some levels back there we could have hopped into. So yeah, it might be better to approach things from that direction, because if not, we might miss out on potential levels, but you can see some stuff over here too. All right then, we got it. Uh, hmm. See, that's what I'm sort of curious about. Could I reach any of that from here? Because obviously this stuff is pretty easy to get to from that direction. So I think what we'll do is we'll just clear out what we can. That's only 200, so pretty cheap. I just wanna sort of make the most sense of things here. All right. And what about this? Cause I think we'll start from over there and start those levels and yeah, just work our way over. It's probably the best way to do it. So if we don't find any collectibles along the way, that's okay too. But hey, we made it. So gotta get a little bit more over. We've been earning an excess of points so far. 3000 for that one though. So I think that's where we'll leave it. Uh, I guess there's a level over there. It doesn't matter much, says it. If we don't do them in the perfect order, low viz, high risk, cut through the fog and find the goal. Whoa, it really is foggy. This mission will test your innate sense of direction. Navigate through the dense fog to reach the goal. This is a 52 gallon mission, so fill up what we can with that and get going. This one's a 20 egg entry free. Uh, cut through the fog and find the goal. Is that an Octo Sniper? It was. It's turned around, now's our chance. <laughs> it's already too late, I got it already. Whoa, so we're just sort of sneaking up on everything and I could get you before you could get me, that was cool. Whoa, nice. Uh, nice gate. It's both inviting and ominous. Bad visibility, uh, what a combo. And Octo Snipers, yeah, so we'll just have to be really careful here, but ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh, gonna be able to get rid of a bunch of them with that, no problem. So that's always really useful. We can sort of just sneak ahead. Got it, got it, and oh, that was not a crate. <laughs> I was like, what's going on with this one? So with this fog, it does make it a lot more difficult to see, but it seems like they don't see us either. Let's definitely snag that checkpoint as we're approaching our 80th level up. Oh, 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 they see me, they see me. But they're gonna be seeing a lot of missiles in a moment right there. We'll do that. There's still a whole group of them coming out here in a second. Whoa, no, don't fall off, don't fall off. Come on, gotcha. A lot of these guys did not get hit by that stuff though, even though they were marked up on it. I guess because they've been moving around so much, but come on, gotcha. Whoa, oh, that almost got me, that would've been bad. Jeez, that was sort of a tough spot, wasn't it? 
Okay, there's not too much else happening around here, so we can move forward. Got a couple more crates. This time we get some well-needed armor. I don't see any kind of Octarians just yet. Trying to be careful. Okay, yeah, nothing over here. Ooh, hello. Do they see me? Not anymore. And I gotta remember we have, oh, maybe not for this one, but sometimes we'll be able to, I think only with the hero gear. Well, there we go. Oh, nice, that was some easy points. But with the hero gear, we'll have different bombs we can change from. I need to keep that in mind for when we're actually playing with the hero gear. Is there anything back this way? There is, a couple extra points for us. Which we already have quite a lot, but we needed 3,000 to get rid of that one chunk. Ooh, oh, these are new, right? I think, I don't quite remember these. Um, ew, it's totally soaked. Yeah, those Arcterios don't miss anything, do they? All right then, so let's try this. Twister time? Yeah, this is new. Um, I don't know, how the, oh my goodness, whoa! That was crazy. Okay, I've definitely not seen that before, but we're just gonna throw uh, our little buddy out for now. I need to wait to sort of restore. There we go. And then I should be able to go for you. I might need to be a little bit closer. Whoa, they're hiding in the gunk. I got it though. I'm pretty sure we came through this gate earlier. No, I think that was a different gate. I have a bad feeling about this. Careful up ahead. Let me make sure there's not any more Octarians hiding in the in the, the goop over this way. Doesn't look like it. So what's gonna be up ahead, huh? Oh, first off, grab that. Yeah, I'm a little wary about this. I see them up there. They're waiting for me. Oh no, oh no. They're coming over. Well, now they're chasing my little buddy. The fence is in the way. I can't really see too well here. Whoa, that was close. Oh no, oh no, the Octo Sniper. Come on, come on. Fill that out so I can just keep going, keep hiding. And then our small fry should do the trick and we can finish this level, nice. All right, that was a pretty interesting one. Well, that was weird. I agree, I agree. So there's that done. That'll be a whopping 1600 into our pocket, which I will definitely use just to clear out this next little section, just like that. All right, well that was a, that was a big step forward for us and gets us to um, our 80th upgrade, which is pretty cool. See, so let's clear this out as much as we can. And I don't think I've hopped into this one, so it might be a good time to sort of sightsee a little bit. Yeah, lots to do around here for sure. Okay, so what else can we find around here? Because it looks like there's at least a few spots I can clean up, if not anything else. No, wait, there's a secret right here. There's gonna be some extra power eggs, but still pretty good. And there was a level over here waiting for us, so there were two back this way. Gotcha. And then there's a little spot for 400 that we can clear out right there. That's gonna have something, right? It will. It's gonna be our first golden record. Cool. So the music will pick up a little bit here as we head into our next level, which is learn to reflect, and this one is in the bank. Use the angle shooter to reach the goal. Okay, so we got the sploosh -matic. In this mission, you'll use the angle shooter to navigate through a series of obstacles and reach the goal. So mostly it's focused on the, uh, the angle shooter, or whatever it's called. Okay, so use the angle shooter to reach the goal. Ready to draw your sub weapon? Let's put that angle shooter to use. That's Agent 3's job. All right. Interesting, I haven't seen this thing. Uh, that's very new to me. So I guess with this one, we throw things out like this and it'll, can I ride that? Is that the idea? I can't ride it, but I guess it just maybe does some damage. I've never seen this before, so definitely worth sort of figuring out. There we go. And then I missed one over here, <laughs> whoops. Uh, I love the music here. Got it. And let's try that thing. Yeah, it does count as ink though, so at least if, if we needed something super precise, it can definitely be useful. There we go. I'll try it, boom, like that. It obviously, yeah, it doesn't do a ton of damage, but it can be nice for sort of striking them down a little bit. That was good. It doesn't use a ton of ink comparative to some other sub weapons. Get a little refill. Gotcha. So what about this then? Now there are three spot switches to hit? Ugh, aim carefully. So I guess if I just do that. Oh, it's moving now. Whoa. Okay. That does make it complicated. 
Oh, one more, one more. Ready, got it. Okay, nice job, thank you. And I might work on you a little bit so I can just move forward. But I do see that over there I can't quite hit. How am I doing this on? Uh, good question. Could I, no. Oh, wait a minute. There we go, that was very cool. All right then, so move forward with that. Grab some extra ink. And I think some even trickier things over this way. I'll wait for it, then blast his balloon fish. Uh, not quite hitting. Weird. I thought I figured that would. Maybe that's not the angle I'm supposed to hit this at. No, there it goes. Unfortunately, that didn't really do much. Would that hit it? I don't think so. Huh. I mean, there's a button swinging by there, but I don't think, yeah, that doesn't seem to be doing much. So it has to be this, right? Okay, that did hit, but the timing wasn't there. Ready, and got one of them. Oh, I see, it's rotating a different direction now. Ready, and how did that not hit? That one was a little silly. Okay, ready, gotta let it rotate one more time. It's coming in. Got it, okay, so good. I guess so. Ah, oh, that, okay, it does have a maximum on its range, you gotta be careful, but we got some extra armor coming in. I'm gonna fill up on ink. But you know what, we're just gonna hit you normally. I think it's just faster sometimes. I know it's not what we're supposed to do. Uh-oh, uh, that is a tough angle. Might not be the way I'm supposed to do it. Oh, there we go. Come on, one more, one more. Gotcha, much better, much better. Uh, Jeez. They're getting frustrated. How do you think I feel? This is tough. There we go, much better, much better. It is really tricky to make those kind of things work. So what's going on with this whole contraption? Hmm, what, uh, what are we looking at here? One, two, three, four stations? All right, um, huh. I don't know where we're starting. I don't think there. There's gotta be some kind of opening. I do see that stuff down that way. What does that do? Not much that I can hit. I mean, I can do that. I just don't know if that really helps me at all. I'm a little confused. Let's look around again. Oh wait, I think I could maybe. Yeah, there we go. Do that, then hit this one. Oh, I need more ink. Wait, wait. Ah, close, but not quite. Got it. Darn, I guess it's not far enough up. I need to fill my ink up all the way. Yeah, yeah, okay, so do that. Hit that there. There we go, much better, much better. That's gonna open up some stuff over this way so that I can bounce it off there. Oh, come on, wait, wait. That's it, that's it. And that's gonna extend things out a lot farther so I can hop up here and get that one. There we go, puzzle solved, you did it. I love the watching artists at work. Nice one, Agent 3, thank you. All right then, so that was pretty crazy. Was there something on the floor there? No, that was not. Now this is the next step. How do I do this one? I guess I want to, oh, hello. Uh, this is a problem. Need to be careful of all that. Because they're not gonna wanna play nice. But if I could, Okay, they're all worked up right now. I'm just trying to... Got it, got it! There's more of them? Yes, there is. Okay, so same deal here, got it. Started to figure it out a little bit. I need to wait for our next one now. Oh, ah, uh, darn. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. This time, the hardest part is that they're shooting at us at the same time, but there we go, and there's another. Back it up, back it up. There. Boom, got it. That was the last of them. Way to go, Agent 3. Thank you. So that was pretty intense. Where are we going? Oh, we're going way up. And we can hit this, explode the both of them, and finish this level. That was a really neat new sub weapon. I like it. We get 1,700 as a reward. Okay, so there's that done. 1,700 points, and now we've cleared out everything on this side, I think. Let's just double check over here. Oh, here we go. 
to some extra easy points, and then we can head back up that way, where I think Callie's waiting for us to maybe give us a couple of extra power eggs. You bet. Hi, Callie. He's got pointy ears and some extra power eggs for you. This girl, well thank you very much. And our next level too, this is going to be a compulsive collector's paradise. Grab all power eggs within the time limit. Oh, that sounds like my kind of deal. So here we are, ready to collect some power eggs. In this mission, you must collect all the power eggs within the time limit. We'll be using the ink brush this time. Okay, so this one costs 40 to even participate. So we'll see how much we get out of the whole thing. Grab all the power eggs within the time limit. Oh my. Oh, it's these things. Okay, you must have, you have to nab 60 power eggs. This is like Pac-Man. I like it, but it might be pretty intense too. Oh, and there's some up here too, so I think a little small fry might enjoy hitching a ride on top of a flutter. I know I would. I can try that at some point then. Right now I'm just trying to keep whatever ink I can. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Oh, so they panic. They don't quite know what to do about it. Um, luckily, we seem to be doing all right. I can grab that one power egg. We still have 20 more left to grab. This is really a lot like Pac-Man. <laughs> okay, there we go. One extra hide back that way. Get a nice ink refill, and then I'm just gonna try to sneak in. Oh, that was good, that was good. 10 remaining, come on. I think I know where the rest of them are then. There's 55, or at least two of them. Right here, boom, and boom. Just looking for three more somewhere. Oh, and there's two of them. Uh, so where, oh no, that was it. Okay, never mind. I guess I just miscounted or something. There we go. A compulsive Collector's Paradise finish with 1,800 as a reward on top of that. So that was a really fun one. I always like the little side missions like that, but with a ton more in our collection, we're up to 4,817. I think that's really everything on this part of the island for the most part. There might be one extra collectible hiding out somewhere. I feel like I already searched around over here though, so. It's saying that there's something around. We'll find it when we find it. If it's not now, then it'll be later. So, I might just like extra cover some things around here just to be extra sure. But like I said, I'm fairly certain I checked all this anyway. So, I think we're good. How are we doing on Sardinium, by the way? Do we have any right now? I don't think so. We have one Sardinium, so I need four more. They'll pop up when they do. So, actually, oh, I've gotten turned around here. Uh, Where do I need to go? I need to go the opposite direction. <laughs> I didn't even realize, yeah. We need to go this way and see what else we can find. So, we've already completed that level. That was the first level we did today. But over here, oh, there is a whole lot more, including another level of tackle. Let's get started with this right away. This is going to be the upside to enemy backsides. Attack enemy backs to reach the goal. Okay, so here we are. In this mission, you must use skill and cunning to aim at enemies from behind and reach the goal. All right then, so we're just using our typical hero shot stuff so we can use you know different things like the splatter bomb now because we unlocked a bunch of it, so that's very cool. Let's pay our no fee and just head in. All right then, attack enemies' backs to reach the goal. There's one of the enemies. So how am I, whoa, sneaking around this guy? I guess I don't have to. Okay, so ooh. they'll try to jump around, wait for him to land and then hit the octo stamps where it hurts. So far, not too bad, right? but I'm guessing a lot of them are gonna try hopping around soon enough. So I wonder if throwing our little buddy might help in that way? Guess we'll find out. I'll toss you over because you have these shield guys. A lot more of a problem. A shield, ha, just hit R to distract a bomb with small, with a bomb or small fry. Yeah, so we're pretty good now. I'm toss over small fry again. Maybe not the best angle, but it's enough that I can just sneak over and grab it. There you go. All right, good job, small fry, but back up! Uh, gotta be careful around those corners. You never know where the Octo Stamp is gonna be. We really just gotta make it jump and then back out. All right. I'll grab this checkpoint and we're good to continue this little spiral that we have up here. Oh no. The whole set of Octo Stamps. Will they turn around on those guys? I don't think so, but the small fry is attacking one of them. That guy had a ton of air. That was cool. Gotcha, and then you're the last one. Are they trying to jump on there? That was weird. Okay, so pretty good stuff. I just wanna break these open so we can get extra rewards or extra shield. Here, oh, that's not really the best, is it? Um, Let's call them back, throw it over there. Got it. Now I need to turn back because there was at least yep, one crate right here. That wasn't so bad. Now 
Call you back. I think that we can just grab our final checkpoint and do something. Oh man, goals in sight, let's see this. Oh, they have little headphones, oh, that is so cool. Oh, that means it makes them send out a shockwave. Whoa. Okay, let's send small fry on you. Did that work? I have no clue. Here they come again. Watch for those shockwaves. That was so cool. So I might try a different one. There we go. I sort of missed a little bit of it, but those shockwaves are a bit intimidating. Very cool. Okay, so over this way then. Let's climb up the sides. We're almost at the end. Oh, here comes their friend. Whoa. Got it. Come on, go crazy on him. That was perfect. I think that's it. Yep, we made our way through this one. That was a fun level. The Octo Stamp enemies can be pretty tough, but they're also just really interesting to go against, for sure. And we're back. So, 1,400 more for that one. And I think, yeah, that's gonna clear it out for you, but there was a couple rewards down this way we can definitely snag. First off, paying the 300 to get rid of this little spot. And that's gonna have our first sunken sea scroll of the day, which is number 19. Letter of appointment, employment, new squid beak HQ for Splatoon. Adjustments, promoted to captain with emulents, uh, emoluments of pay grade 33. Craig Cuttlefish. Craig Cuttlefish? Wait, is that Captain Cuttlefish? His first name is Craig? Interesting. Hey, a little buddy found something. Yeah, there's some more stuff over here that we'll grab real quick. Very cool, so I'll be some easy extra points. But we're gonna run over this way too. Nothing I can reach from this angle, so maybe not. See, so yeah, we'll go back up the way we came. Or can we? Oh no, we can go this way. I was gonna say, I'm a little lost at the moment. How am I gonna get through this? How do I get to that? I guess I was supposed to do it earlier. So, I can break this open, easy extra points, and I'll do that level in just a moment. I sort of see where we are now. It's easy to get lost around here for some reason, but I think once we clear out all the gunk, That'll help out a little bit. So we need to backtrack. Oh, and I haven't done this level either. Yeah, they're they're definitely upping the number of levels there are each time. But 1400 isn't too much for us at this point. We can clear this out, no problem. There is gonna be a lot to find here, right? First off, yeah, right in this corner, we get our first locker decoration. It's a fire hydrant. Okay, so what else do you find, buddy? There's a lot in this little area. Some uh, extra power eggs and our second golden record. The small fry is really excited about all that, all the cool new stuff we're finding. But I don't think there's going to be too much more in this area, so let's head back up, and I think now is a great time to tackle a few more levels. So we've gotten this one done. Nothing really more down that way, so we're going to hop up this way and try our next one, which is the trouble round every corner. So press enemy fire and reach the goal. Okay, here we are. Uh, in this mission, you will learn how to manage paranoia. Reach the goal while being mindful of hidden enemies. And we're starting with the hero gear. Paranoia, huh? That makes this sound a little scary, but we'll find a way through. So press enemy fire and reach the goal. So we do have an Octarian up there. Watch out, this Twinticle Octo Trooper up there they're way tougher than regular Octo Troopers. Yeah, we've run into a couple of them, not a ton though. But as you can see, they, they fire a lot more and they take a couple more hits to take out. Okay, well with that done, we can just hop over to the next section pretty quickly. But those enemies don't mess around. As you can see, they're already trying to get us, so if I toss, oh, that's not even the one I meant to throw. But, ooh, so what do we get? We get the, uh, the Trizuka, right? There we go. I'll get you a little bit, I'm just stuck in the ink for now. There we go, so I got rid of a couple of them like that. That's not too bad, but I, I see you over here. I'm just trying to, uh, ouch, maybe Small Fry can help you out here. I'm thinking the same thing, so let's throw Small Fry out for a moment so that I can maybe just make my, my, make my way around. There we go, so much action, I can't speak straight. I think that's about everything for this side. I could just run to the checkpoint right now, but what I'm a bit more interested in is breaking all this stuff and sneaking up. I thought I jumped. That has happened to me a couple of times now where I've ran up to a platform or swam up to it. I press the jump button and then there's no jump. So I don't know if that's me or if that's the game. What's going on? But hopefully this time I can do a bit better. Because we can get that, take the shot, 
over this way, take the shun onto you, and then I guess to you. Okay, that's not too bad. Still a lot to uncover here, though. So that's where I need to get my little buddy. Gotcha. And you up there. Very cool. So let's not go too crazy here. I'm gonna call them back. Yeah, I know that they're hanging out just like that, I think. Yeah, there's one more right over there. Very cool. So that should be everything cleared out around here. We lost one life along the way, but that's not the end of the world, right? So let's head back over and continue to the next section. Okay, so there's gonna be another uh, Trizuka. I think I called it a tri slasher before. I'm not sure. But the Trizuka is quite good. Oh, I missed though, so that's not so good. So I guess at the least, you know, I, I get two of them. I'm gonna toss that over. Ooh, that'll make them both turn around. Really good situation there, actually. Oh no, oh no. This is where things get a bit messy, don't they? Gotcha, gotcha. I need to hide in the corner for just a moment. And get across, because I know that yeah, there's this one with the shield up here. Oh no, oh no, I missed my shot. Here, come back to me. Toss it up there. I still can't quite get it. It's fine, it's fine. Because I can sort of play sneaky like that. And we got, got them one way or another. So, pretty good stuff. There's still a lot more to this level, it seems. No enemies just yet, though. They'll probably pop up as we get closer. Come on. I thought I heard an enemy, but I don't really see one. Oh gosh, let's send that back over. Oh, did I miss that crate? Is that an orange crate? Let's see if I can't. No, okay, that didn't have anything. Just had to make sure. Got it. And I guess that's it for this area. I mean, so far, yeah, we just gotta jump over. I thought there'd be more enemies around. Almost there. But are we really? Now I'm really paranoid. Oh gosh, here we go. Ready, get you fast. Then I wanna roll over here. Come on, let me go, let me go, let me go, slam. Boom, that was not enough to fully get rid of you, but I broke your shield, and that's nice. Come on. There we go. Is that gonna be it? I think so. Jeez, what a tough area, though. These enemies do not mess around anymore. Just gonna toss it over and finish it up. Okay, we got out, at least, you know, mostly in one piece. Now that we're back here, though, we get another level completed, and I just need to take a look around, I guess, for a moment and see what we can do. A thousand points there is actually no problem. I don't see any other areas back here to clear out, so we've done a great job. Small fries found something straight away. It is gonna be our first piece of sardinium for the day. I like it. I'll we'll have to spend some of those soon once we have enough. And there's gotta be some extra goodies back here, right? Get that plus one upgrade point. Let's find out. So small fries looking around, I'm looking around, we're, we're bound to find something then. I guess we don't need too much of that. Down this way though, oh, here we go. Just stumbled across that, some extra power eggs. Okay, so I need to get up and over, but down here, this is where I can toss it. 600 points. It's interesting that, you know, because we've been diligent in getting everything, we do have an excess of points. That'll be another uh, locker decoration, which is just a rock. With a, a handle for some reason. Can I get up that one? I cannot. So we'll need to backtrack a little bit. There's not too many walls we can climb around here. It's mostly just using these things to sort of blast our way up. Hi, Callie. Your hero gear is looking good, but I bet you can power it up even more. Yeah, I'm working on it. As soon as we get more of the uh, Sardinian, I'll go put that straight into our upgrades. Okay, so let's try out this level. If it's gonna sit here, uh, proceed with caution. Simply zip, zipcastic. Use the zipcaster to make your way up and reach the goal. Okay, so in this mission, you must use the zipcaster to reach the goal at the top. So more zipcaster fun. I wanna fill up this area first and then we'll go. I need to pay 30 points for this one. But yeah, we'll just uh, zipcast over just like this. Well, this should be fun. Get ready to ride the Zipcast, your Zipcaster all the way to the top. So, yeah, they're giving us a lot of Zipcaster missions. I think they just understand how fun this is. Wait, there we go. 
and I missed all three of them. Okay, well, I, I sort of want to go back because I want those. All right, I got two of them. That's good enough, right? Okay, so what do we have here? I'll just go over like that. Yahoo! Got it. Nice. So let's get this moving. I don't want to waste too much time, right? Boom. Ooh. Wait a minute. Whoa, I did it that time. That was cool. We're gonna bounce over. We're making it work. Here's our checkpoint. You're making me dizzy, Agent 3. Apparently this is the final checkpoint already. Hey, uh, whatever you do, don't slip. I'm trying my best. Oh, this song is so cool too. Got it. Oh, you know what? You're in trouble. Boom, that was so cool. Awesome, so you know what? Let's uh, get to this one if I can. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I'll get up here. There we go. And then from up here, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Got some extra points I can grab. Don't mind if I do. And then get over to here. I'll probably do the same thing. Yep. Got it. Got it. And got it. Oh, wait. There. <laughs> Is there going to be anything more like that around here? Oh, that's one way to find out if you're afraid of heights. I bet they mentioned the height fear pretty often for some reason. There we go. There we go. And then last one right there. Here's the goal. That was so quick. I don't know if I missed anything major, but that might have been one of the quickest missions so far. Just a minute and 34 seconds. Okay, so simply Zipcastic completed. What a fun stage. Is there anything in that corner? Doesn't look like it, so we are zooming through some of these levels at the least, but over here, I'm gonna clear some of this stuff out. Is there anything for us, though? Maybe up here? No? Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna clear out as much as I can, because you just, you never really know where those rewards, rewards are gonna be hiding. I see this one, that one's pretty easy to grab. Oh no, oh, I jumped a little too soon though. Uh-oh, it looks like Small Fry found something. It's gonna be the next golden medal, which should be the last one too, so let's try it out again, maybe. Oh, oh, I didn't realize I could be on top of this and still like throw things around. Don't go too soon. It's very easy to do that, apparently. Oh my gosh. We still have over 4,000 uh, power eggs here, so I'm just trying to do what I can. Yeah, this one was pretty obvious. Some Easier power eggs to grab. There's gotta be something extra back here, right? There's no way there's not anything. Where do I go from here, though? I don't I don't think I can get back up there, so unless I wanna, I just gotta jump down. Ooh, Ooh this is a neat little area, though. How it's just sort of tucked under here. There's no way there's not a little surprise, right? I'm right down that way, so maybe Small Fry will po pop up and point something out, I'm not really sure. What is with this? It seems odd. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of sort of ground here for there not to be a secret, so I might be missing something. I might not be. Here we go. That's just gonna be more power eggs, so we still have a lot to find then. What will this one say? Not really anything. It's just sort of giving us a good look around now. It was sort of highlighting something here. There we go. How did I not get that the first time? I'm not sure, but here we go. Sunken Sea Scroll number 17. Yo, Barry C here, Hotlantis' hottest only owner. <laughs> I gotta split for a bit to stock up on stock, but it's all good. Harmony, yep, from Trippy Chips, is filling in, and she knows this shop way, way better than me. So business, that's gonna keep keep right on booming. <laughs> all right, so I think this is actually one of the new characters from Splatoon 3 that like is one of the shop vendors or something. Haven't seen them yet because you know I've only played the story mode so far, but after we're done with the story mode, we'll be checking out all that kind of stuff. For sure. For right now though, we can get ourselves another golden record. And that should really revamp the music around here. So if there isn't anything else to find, then we should be good. But yeah, what's neat is that it pointed that out to me. You know, when we were up here, it highlighted that, so I was able to find it. So that's neat. Good to know that, you know, there's a way. And that shows that there was something there that I missed. Isn't that weird? Okay, so we're gonna make sure we get that then. I think the best way up there is going to be just sort of going all the way around again. But then afterwards we can tackle that level. Because I really wanna get this, if, if possible. It was right about here. Here it is. That is gonna be our uh, table turf battle cards. Awesome. So how do we clear out this one? It looks like I need to go over there. So going in a lot of circles so far today, but I still can't get it from there. I think we want to go back up around again and just clear it out from this direction. 
for 900 points. So what will this path have in store for me? Probably another piece of Sardinium or something? Yes it is, caught it. Sardinium number two. So I think we should have three Sardinium in total at this rate. And can I clear out this side? Yes I can for 300 points. No problem at all. That is going to be another locker decoration. This time, a satellite dish. Pretty cool. And another upgrade point. So whenever we do get enough Sardinium for an upgrade, we'll make that work. But anyways, we have our next level ready and waiting for us. This is going to be one way ride through Target Town. Destroy the targets to reach the goal. Ooh, so what do we got here? This mission will test your hand-eye rail coordination. Break every target you see as you ride rail. So we've had some of these ride railing ones before, but uh, I think, yeah, this is the the bow and arrow one. Uh, destroy the targets, reach the goal. So I think, yeah, if we set it like that, it explodes. Okay, Agent 3, ready for some high stakes target practice. You have to hit every target you see. All right. So I could do something like that. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, sort of lame. Okay, I don't know why that did not work, but it doesn't matter too much. We can just get closer to this one. Pretty cool. And whenever it has the X's, that means the target's actually gonna reach. So that's what we're waiting for. And for this one, what about there? Wait, okay, I didn't know if it was gonna explode or not. Nice. Ah, oh, I missed those two. I jumped a little too soon. But I guess it's better than falling into the water, right? Okay, it got him. And it got him. Super nice. Tell me about it. All right then, so, oh, I gotta go like that. If not, we get knocked off. And I missed it again. I jump way too soon, it seems. Aim carefully. I'm trying my best. So there's a good cluster of them cleared out. Oh no, how did that, okay, I thought it didn't work for a moment, but it did. That's good. I don't think we've missed any then. That's another cluster done. Wow, you're really good at this, thank you. Uh. Tower targets up ahead, or dead ahead. Oh man. Oh, so I need to, oh no. Oh, I just barely got them in time. That was scary. Wow. Oh, we're not quite done. Don't relax yet. Keep it up, Agent 3, almost done. Ready, jump through this one. Finally got it. That was pretty good. Duck through that. Pretty good stuff there. There's some more coming up. I need to... Oh no, no! Oh no! <laughs> I can't believe that one didn't reach. That was rough. That's okay, we'll do it this time. Well, I gotta do it from the very beginning again, so I don't like that very much. Oh, I finally did it. That one took me a ton of tries to get to. But we did it. Final stretch, don't lose focus now. I hope I can do this. Come on, there we go, that was good. Target destroyed, that was fast. I sure hope so. There might be more though, oh there's more. Oh, you're so close. So, what do we do here? Um, I guess not that. Uh, I feel like I didn't even get the chance to process what was happening there. All right, well that stinks, but at least we made it farther. The real tough thing is I have to do the whole thing over. Oh, I did it, I did it! Oh man, we finally did it! That took so many tries! I can't believe it, that was a lot. Great work out there, Agent 3. I need the compliment for that one, because geez, that was, I was stuck on that one for so long. So glad to finally be out of that one. 2,000 doesn't feel like enough of a prize for that, because in other levels, I might have died once or twice, but that was the first time I have gotten several game overs back to back. So, yeah, that was tough. I can definitely see how. <laughs> Maybe people might, might wanna skip that one, but let's see what we're doing around here. I think I want to clear out some more space before we start trying to find another level. Uh, because I feel like there's just a lot of uncovered ground. There's gonna be a lot of things we're still trying to find, I think. And that's something I wanna take a look at right here. Cause it, yeah, it looks like right down that way, in this little spot, there is going to be just some extra power eggs. So I'll take those to start things off. And oh, I haven't even gotten into this level. Okay, I feel like I've been maybe getting a little sidetracked then. So we'll open up that in just a moment. But I do want to try going over here, tossing that over for a thousand points, you know, quite affordable for us. Okay, and I do see an extra prize right down there. That is going to be another food ticket. Very cool. So I'll have to make the most of those sooner or later. 
But for now, I gotta make the most of this area because there's definitely gonna be something over here. 200 for that, I don't know if I can get it from this. <laughs> but small fry found something <laughs> after falling off. Okay, 100 points, not too bad. Okay, so lots of areas to clear up. There, there has to be something in this little corner, right? You'd think, but not really. Okay, so once again, we're not gonna tackle that level just yet because there's actually that level and that level way over there we have to touch, so yeah, lots of stuff to do. Oh, wait a minute, we got something out of this. This is going to be another lantern kind of decoration for our uh, locker. Okay, so it looks like right over here, this might be the last set of stuff we need to clear out. So I might do these, then go do, get the sunken sea scroll. Okay, that was good. Getting launched way up here. There's so many levels to this one, that was crazy. Might be more than last time, which is really saying something, because last time we even had the boss fight to add to that. But I guess we'll see soon enough, because we're not quite there yet. This one costs 3,000, so I'll clear that out. And that was actually so, so much of it. There's definitely something over here, right? There's no way there's not. There it is. That is another Sardinium. Let's take a quick look. We have four of them, so we need one more Sardinium. I don't know if we'll find that in today's episode then. That might be for next episode. Okay, so still worth looking around now because I think there might be another thing on this side. When we're at level 90 now, I didn't even realize we had hopped up so much, but huh, maybe there isn't anything on the side, which is a little bit weird. You'd, you'd think there'd be something, but I guess for right now, we'll go back over and start working on those levels that we might have missed. Well, actually, let's do the balloon first, because I, I do see that the balloons hang out in the distance. I wanna take those out. So what's the easiest way to get over to them? I guess from here. Yeah, get up this way. Cause I saw the one red balloon. Oh, it's off now. So we'll have to come back to it. But for right now, we could do this one. Uh, boom, 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 got it. Then we're going over this way. This is some tricky jumps they're expecting us to do here. I sort of just gotta hope for it. I don't know how to, ooh, from here, I might run out of time. Come on, go, 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 got it. That was super close. And now it wants us to go overhead, splash up here. And then these two, no problem. Oh no, gotta be quick with this one, but it's the last one. There we go, so yet another sunken sea scroll. I think our second to last one for today's video. It's number 16. Frying out here in Scorch Gorge in more ways than one. Hashtag sweaty shell, biking trip. Oh, that's so cool. So it's the, it's kicks, right? I think so. Very cool. So um, there we go, that's another one done. We're just looking for one more somewhere around here, but maybe that's something we'll wait for later. I'm just gonna wait for that balloon to come back and then we'll tackle whatever levels we might have missed. All right, gonna splat that for 100 extra, and now we're good. We're gonna go way back down here and tackle this one level we ended up missing, which is uh, barriers. They've got you covered. Defeat Octo Discos and reach the goal. Okay, so in this mission, you must reach the goal by overcoming any enemy barriers with the hero gear. Okay, so covering all of that up. We're going in, fee or not, we're gonna get this one figured out. All right, let's go. If the Octo Disco doesn't reach the goal, this one seems pretty simple. An Octo Disco, their barriers make them a real pain to deal with. Seems like it. Okay, so they are a new enemy, I think. Hard to say, but we'll figure it out as we go forward. Um, you're not gonna have any luck shooting through that barrier, so we need to shoot the, the Octo Disco itself. When I take down the Octo Disco, you gotta hit them from up top or go inside their barrier. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind. Didn't figure we could actually physically penetrate it, but I guess we can. Gosh, yes, so those two, not too big of a deal. Uh-oh, here comes an Octo Stamp. An Ant Octo Stamp, watch out for the shockwaves. I definitely will, but we got him. Nothing back there. All right then, so just gonna hop up here, no problem. And that's gonna be some armor. That's a lot of Octarians. Maybe you could use walls to get around them? I think so. Gotta get them first, but I can't hit them from here. So what I need to do, oh no. Yeah, I can't even do that. So what I could maybe do is walk inside and slam? Ah, oh, that didn't quite work because they were moving. 
but I guess eventually they run out of energy or something. Very hard to actually get into the shield. That was cool. I, I guess, I feel like it could have been better. Either way, we got through it. Ooh, here comes some more. Ugh, this is gonna be annoying. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, actually not too bad. There we go, we made it work. And once they don't have anybody to defend, they're actually not too challenging. Wow, you're through. Or thorough, <laughs> I thought I said through. All right then, so. Yeah, it looks like right over here we can lift ourselves up, going up. And hopefully we can make this jump. There we go, just don't look down. They really have a thing about fear of heights. Maybe they have a fear of heights then. Uh, I'll toss this over just to give me some time. Whoa, oh, that was scary. Then I gotta go up here just like that and then have the huge jump on him. Not bad, Agent 3, well thank you very much. Uh, what does this say? Ooh. Hmm. How do you want to tackle this, Agent 3? There's a lot going on here, but I think what we need to do is sort of make our way past them and then go back down from above. Uh, you're almost there. Oh yes, yeah, so, so go up, up, up. Do some good damage to him. But then we need to move over here and basically do the same thing if I had to guess. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I do see that. Oh, let's get up and get it. There we go. Uh, the Trizuka. Um, how do I use that? Like this. And then take the shot. Good enough. Uh, blast. Oh no, it's over. <laughs> Darn, that's not good. It's fine now. I'll just damage you down one way or another. And then your friend. And then right down here, I just need to. That didn't land. Yeah, hitting downward like that can be very challenging. But for doing it, we do get some extra points. I can finish this level up. And we're good to go. That was an exciting one. A lot faster pace, at least, to complete than the last level. So I'm happy about that. So there is another level completed. We have so much more left to go though that we probably just don't wanna dilly-dally. I do wanna check the map real quick. It is saying that something was back there, so it really is making me curious. I should go and check that out first, and then I'll move forward. That way I just don't have to double back for anything. But what could it be? I'm, not, I'm really not sure. Cause it's, yeah, it, it's still on that segment of it. And I feel like I searched this whole area very thoroughly. I have still yet to see it pop up. Okay, I swear I shot right there before, but this time it's working. It's gonna be our final sunken sea scroll. And that's actually number, oh, it's maybe not because we missed something somewhere. But either way, number 20, Thursday night slash Friday morning at 1 a.m. It's the 100th episode of Marie After Midnight and a special guest stopped by to help me celebrate, my cousin Callie. It's a Squid Sisters Gab Fest. We could not stop talking. Not kidding, we went over the scheduled end time by five hours. Oops, well that's cute. I'm glad they had a fun time. So we still have to look for one more sunken sea scroll somewhere. So we'll be poking around for that a little bit more once we jump back over here and complete a few more levels, I think. Okay, so yeah, taking a look around. I do know that this is another level and that's another level. So let's start tackling them. Maybe I'll do this one first. Yeah, sure. What is this one gonna be? Making waves with splashdowns. Use splashdowns to reach the goal. Okay, so in this mission, you must master the use of splashdowns to reach the goal, which we've been using these pretty often, so it's, it's, it's fun to use them a little bit more here. Wee, let's go. So, um, okay, so what you wanna do here is, you know, splash down. You try it, you'll splash down where you stand. Cause splat. Ooh, and in this area, you can do it as many times as you like. Awesome, so all you can splash down level. Very cool. So we'll grab some of that stuff and then slam onto these guys. Boom, <laughs> it even said all those boxes flying. That was fun. Uh, so I guess we need to splash down to launch up and then jump over and then go behind their shields and everything. That was excellent. This is such a fun level already. See, these are a fun way to um, practice special. Splash down as much as you want to get to the top, Agent 3. I will. Got it. And then let's slam onto that. Very cool. Now this is where timing does matter. Uh, and we made it work, we made it work. Anything behind me? There's not. Okay. This moves horizontally, yes it does. Here's a pro tip for you, don't fall. I'm trying my best. There's some extra armor. Okay, here we go. Boom, they had the snorkel gear on and everything. And I do see some enemies over here. That didn't work out so well. Um, maybe if I do it again? Uh oh, 
not really. This is not going so well. How do I get you? I guess maybe from here? Okay, they, they move it pretty quick. That is a lot. That is a lot. Here, slam down again so I can just get some. Jeez, I'm jumping. I'm trying to jump. This is sort of ridiculous. Uh, yeah, let's try that again. Okay, so what might be smarter for this one is staying up here and then just slamming it. That does not do enough damage. Maybe, there we go. But geez, once they start shooting, ah, oh, come on. I think I might just wanna run through that. If we don't get all the Octo or the, whatever they call the power eggs, not the end of the world. I don't think it's worth losing a bunch of lives for. So we're just going to slam through that. I definitely need that armor though. But geez, the levels have jumped up so high in difficulty this episode, it's pretty crazy. Okay, maybe what we're supposed to do this whole time, yeah, is this. There we go. Oh, so I just overcomplicated it the whole time. I fought Splashdown from way downtown. Very cool. So what's going on with this? I need to slam on these boxes. Watch out for the Octo Sniper dead ahead. Ready, boom. And this one, that was good, that was good. Oh, you guys are in trouble. Oh, good bam. And then we can launch across. You look almost too cool, Agent 3. There we go, that was excellent. So I finally figured it out by the end of it. Pretty cool. See, so we'll get 1,500 for that one, not a bad prize. So with that one done, we're making some great progress. We just need to turn right around and tackle this next level right here. This is going to be another golden one. Uh-oh, too many snipers. Avoid enemy fire and reach the goal. In this mission, you will learn to manage unwanted popularity. Reach the goal while evading enemy attacks. Okay. Let's go in through this way. Only way we can go through. Avoid enemy fire and reach the goal. That's a little bit scary, but we'll do what we can about it. First off, grabbing some armor. Watch out, they've got you in their sights already. So I'm just trying to run across like this wherever I can. Ooh, got some points for that. I did see that one. I might want to just toss our little buddy over. So it might just be extra points like that. Yeah, there we go. Go, go, go. Come on, got it. Oh, and there's more of them. There's gotta be a way up there. Keep looking for a surface you can climb. I will. Gotcha, but we need to go, we need to go. So we can ink and climb this one. I don't know if we wanna go too far with it before exploring around a little bit, but it might just be better to, oh no! Uh, go for it, go for it. Um, yo, let's switch to this. That might help out a lot. But if we could take out all the enemies. Uh, they saw me there somehow. Take out all the enemies and then continue forward. Ooh, it didn't quite get them, unfortunately, but as you can see, we're able to make our way forward a little bit more. Huh. Some more climbing to do, yep. But I got some pretty easy points there, and I just gotta move. Not happening. Ooh, ooh, now you guys are in trouble, right? Uh, Over there, and then, I don't know if I can get them from here, that's unfortunate. I didn't do anything with that, that's rough. Okay, so it's fine, I hope. I'm trying to make it fine. There we go, much better, much better. I need to find my way up here if possible. You're jumping down for me, actually. Wow, uh, wasn't expecting that. But we got some extra armor from that one. Now I can go back over. It just from here seems fine to me. Oh no. Oh, he made it to the top. Somehow, some way. Oh, they got me there, can't believe it. Much better, much better. Tossing this over. <laughs> I fell off the side. Not what I was looking for, but it's okay. Ooh, now you guys are in trouble, because now I just do this and then fire when locked in. Come on, come on. Don't be so distracted from me, they won't notice the missile slamming right down on top of them. So if we wanted to, now's a good time to go back and get the extra orbs, but is it really worth it for just a couple of them? Actually, that's more than a couple of them. All right, we're going back down. I want to find those. How am I getting to it, though? It looks like pretty simply I could just jump and then turn. Yeah, there we go. That was great. Okay, so that's a lot more orbs for us. That, then there's another one right here, a whole cluster of them. And then there's another two of them back over this way. So we're doing really good finding these. And it was worth backtracking for them, I think. Got it. Wait, 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 there's still another. And that's actually gonna be another cluster. So 
Now I think we've gotten them all, we can leave this level. That's the best way to do that. Let me throw some of those around so I can zoom around a little bit more. I think I wanna go up here. Got it. And yeah, I think I'm going the right way now. <laughs> a lot of this was like covered back over when they were shooting at me. So it makes it seem like I hadn't been this way, but I have, I have. So I'm just gonna go back around. Crazy we, we, we went through this much so quickly though. Especially with all those enemies shooting at us, this was a tough level, but we did a pretty good job. Got it. Okay, so from here, I just gotta make this big jump. It's a lot more leisurely though without the, the Octo Snipers attacking us, that's for sure. But those Octo Missiles really helped. Or the Tenta Missiles, whatever they're called. Uh, but there we go, finally completed it. Boom, mission complete. Pretty cool one. And we get 1400 as a reward. Okay, so uh-oh, too many snipers is completed. And it looks like just right ahead we have another level waiting for us, so. Is that little buddy doing okay? They're trying to catch up with us. Let's see what's going on this way then, because I'm over here. It is saying that there is something now, so maybe it's worth looking around an extra time to see if I can't find any more collectibles before we move forward. Ooh, you found something, didn't ya? Okay, come on, come on, where is it? Right here, all right. And what's gonna be, it's gonna be our, for real this time, final uh, sunken sea scroll, I have to imagine. As they grow, crustaceans such as the coconut crab frequently shed their shells to allow for further growth. Because strong sunlight encourages this shedding behavior, this may explain why Splatland's crustaceans are off, often grow to be far larger than their counterparts in other regions, because there's a lot more sunlight. Gotcha. Interesting to see sort of the science behind some of the characters. Okay, so we've done a great job clearing out all these levels, but there's a few more waiting for us up ahead, so let's go for them. Hi, Callie. You're supposed to sneak behind the shielded Octarians, but I just like the blast them. You're not alone there. Okay, so let's try out this level, which is shooter on rails, reach the goal using ride rails, and precision shooting. Okay, so if this is anything like the last one, we might be in for a rough time, but this mission will test your ability to look cool during tricky maneuvers. Use ride rails to reach the goal, and we're gonna be using the Bamboozler 14 Mark I with the Burst Bomb. So I haven't used this in a long time. I'm usually just not good at these kind of weapons, but we'll see how it goes. So reach the goal using ride rails and precision shooting. Uh, got it? Got it but we just did one of these and I was stuck on it for nearly an hour. <laughs> Let's ride. Okay, but this might be a bit different. Yeah, with it not being about sort of timing shots. Uh, jump, jump like you never had before. I'll try. Okay, so I need to jump down like this and I guess I didn't jump quite well enough. Got it. Where are we going? We're going this way. Okay, good to know. What is with these trees? They're neat looking. Oh, there's the switch. Got it. I'm gonna jump over. And I guess that is a checkpoint, so we don't have to do the entirety of this one all in one go, so that's nice. I gotta jump up and over. There's another one. Okay, the range on the bamboozler isn't super huge, is the one thing. Ooh, gotta, yeah. Ducking cover under that, wow, that was close. Oh, well, maybe it is better than I thought. You bamboozle them with the bam best of them. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Got it. And that's just a little balloon for us. That's good. Okay, so I'm ready for this one. Whoa, ooh, had the jump for it. That was pretty crazy. I did see one over there. I don't know if we were supposed to get that. Oh no, I think we get it right there. Is there one more? There is, but then we can just get it like that. Whoa. I don't know if I'll be able to, whoa, get those balloons in time. Gotta jump over that though. Got it? Go, 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 ride that rail all the way to the top. I'm trying. Got it. Gonna duck under. We're almost there, but there's still a bit more here. Oh no, oh no. Ah, no, no! Wait, oh, we fell. Okay, that's good. I thought that was gonna be it. That was scary, but I need to use the splat bomb. I was being silly there. I could just, yeah, do a little bit of this. There it is, see how much easier that was? Made it overcomplicated. Did I hit them all though? One more time, I, I guess not. I'm a little confused. Uh, what did we miss? What? 
Oh, maybe there's some on the back side of that. One more, one more time. There is. No, and I missed it. Oh, darn. Come on, come on. One more time for real. That's so confusing. Will Cali say anything? One more time. There it is. Hit it in the back. Ooh, sneaky. All right then, so we need to jump over this time. Ready, and got it. So is that gonna be the last of it? It looks like it. Looks like you're in the clear, nice job. Thank you, thank you. Okay then, so definitely took a lot of work, but we got through it one way or another, and another level completed. That was much easier than the other ride rail one. Thank goodness. So we're back out here again with another level behind us. So our next one's just waiting for us over here. And there is still somehow another collectible around here I have yet to find, but I don't know if that's something I'm going to trouble myself too much with right away, because we can just go and do this level. This is zipping over the neighborhood, use the zip caster to reach the goal. Again, more zip caster stuff. In this mission, you reach the goal by zipping around with the zip caster. Okay. So yeah, well, it looks like we also have the ink brush or the otter brush, which I don't know if we'll need too much, but we'll find out. Okay, so, hmm, those Octarians are just out of reach. Looks like a job for the unstoppable or unsplattable Zipcaster. Whee, boom, splapow, got him. All right then, see, so yeah, let's, let's zoom through this as much as we can. That is so satisfying, I love it. Okay, so I see this group over here, we can immediately go and splat, and then same thing with that right there, gotcha. And then maybe right there. Oh, that didn't quite get you, awkward. <laughs> okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Somehow I, I still ended up getting them, but I see right down this way, a little crate of power eggs to get. Splash secret, nice find. And it looks like, oh yeah, there's one more person right down here, gotcha. And I think, yeah, we're good to head up. Oh no, oh no, uh, we made it, we made it. And I think, yeah, that's a good lineup. Oh no, uh oh, that Octomander, or Octo Commander looks ready for you. We'll see about that. Boom! <laughs> you did it, that was very cool. They were not ready for us. And then we get to slam right into these crates. Swimming through the ink, dash into the sky, fuzzy Octos tremble. Zip, 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 zip caster. Got it, okay. Octo Sniper, quick find cover. I think we're fine. And then, Oh, 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 wait, got it. I do need to backtrack though, so I can splat these crates. Let's get a couple of extra power eggs out of it, but I'm going to run up here and then, oh, that was good, that was good. And is there anything way up here? You bet there is. Nothing slips by your, our splatty hero senses. I love how they just hype us up the whole time. Oh, okay, that could've been bad, but it, all I missed was the, uh, what's it called? The one ring. There we go, got it. And then I probably wanna jump up here and didn't do the same deal with these two. Oh, I missed one of them. Gotcha. I think I wanna go up here. Ooh, good move. Okay, let's climb up here then. Try to do a bit of this. Maybe I should just, yeah, go right through them like that. There we go. And then, oh, I somehow missed that. That was sort of silly. Come on, come on, got it, there we go. Now you guys are done for. So I can do that, go over here. I'm a little bit slow at the moment. There we go. That took a lot of work. Slapow, there's the key. And the gate's opening too. So I guess we just need to jump up, boom, and finish the level. That was fantastic. I really like the Zipcaster. Very fun addition to the game. So with that done, how much, how much did we get out of that one? 1600, we have so many points, but I think that might have been all of the levels here in Site 5, right? No, no, we're still missing one, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's a twelfth one somewhere that I guess I had passed. Oh yeah, right down here. How did I not see this one? Let's go for it right now. You'll go far if you shoot far, send ink flying in all directions and reach the goal. Don't mind if I do. So the last level of the day in this mission, you must use long range weapons to reach the goal. So we're going to be trying the Explosher Splap on to start things off. Oh boy. We'll just enter this one. 
almost at 10,000 power eggs. This might send us over the edge for that. Looks like the first step is easy. Ink the splat switch. Oh, hey, you made that platform move. Yes, we did. Boy, do you see that up there? Okay, so I guess we'll go this way for now. And then, remember, we can't use that long range. This is a lot longer range than I would have anticipated for a splasher, especially when that explodes at the end of it. This feels like a pretty powerful weapon. Okay, ooh, ooh, that was good, that was good. Grab that checkpoint, and then all that stuff. See you over here, but I should be able to get rid of you without too much of an issue. Octo Troopers are just hanging out. One more time, got it. Whoa, the wall on, uh, or just opened, yeah, okay. So, I might toss, oh no, that's right, I don't have my uh, little buddy here. Come on, there we go. That was a little scary, I might wanna refill just a little bit, but. I'm trying to reach those. They're sort of tough targets to reach, I gotta really point it up there. I don't think there's anything back there. Yeah, no crate is safe from us. How do I do this one? Oh, you know what? Oh no, that worked, never mind. There's the way forward. I was gonna just throw a spot bomb, but if that works, it works. Okay. There we go, that was so cool. Maybe I did a little too soon because now I can't get these. Ah, well, it's fine. Get these three pretty easily. I'm sort of starting to figure this out. What does this say? I see the gold just quick climb up those ramps and we're done. Sure, but Agent 3 has to clear the plaza of all the Octarians first and they're plentiful. Okay, so I think we can handle it if we uh, do a little bit of that, and then this one over there. Because the thing that makes it so long range is that the shot itself goes really far. So if you can aim the lobs correctly, as you can see, you can get quite a lot of easy splats. Well, one more time. Maybe not. There we go. There's our path forward. Let's get climbing. Okay, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Fly up like that, and that crate real quick. That's gonna be some armor for us, so if we do get in a bind, I think we'll be fine. Oh no, oh no, not another Octo Sniper. We've been seeing those guys a lot recently. Octo Snipers and Octo Troopers or whatever. Let's see you up there. That's a pretty easy takedown now. Okay, ready for this. One more time, or one more time for real. There we go, eat ink, Octo Sniper. All right then, so that is another level completed. You're on top of the world, at least this small part of the world. Nice work, Agent 3. So there we go, that is the final level of Site 5 completed, or Site 4, wherever we are. No, Site 5. <laughs> We've been making it really quick, so easy to lose track. Okay, so you'll go far if you shoot far is completed. That's gonna get us over 10,000 power eggs. And all we're looking for now is that there should be one more secret to find somewhere around here before we're done with today's episode. Let's see if we can't find it. Gonna be over here maybe? Not quite. And I swear that I looked at this area really thoroughly, so. It's gotta be around here though, so. I guess I didn't look thoroughly enough. Oh, here it is. There we go, so is that everything? No, it's not, there is still something glowing around, so hopefully me and little buddy can find something. They're just chilling out at the moment, but it's gotta be around somewhere. Oh, so maybe I checked too soon, because now it's not saying that there is anything there. So yeah, I think we're good, and I don't quite have enough Sardinium to get to this, but I think next episode we will, hopefully. We still, of course, have Site 6 to check out, um, and hopefully there's a lot there then. But if we take a look at everything else, it seems like we've gone level one through 13 completed here, and now all we have to do is check out our, our turn log, right over here, log 005. Um, Fresh intelligence awakens. As the inner walls of Alterna collapsed, thousands of tons of rock and liquid crystal plunged into the waters below. As these crystals washed and to and fro among the floatsome and jetsam of humanity's former colony, they broke into microscopic fragments. Because they had repeatedly absorbed and reflected humanity's wishes over so many years, the crystals retained those feelings. Little by little, the squids, octopuses, and assorted sea creatures that thrived in the waters of Alterna absorbed these crystals into their bodies. This process continued until one day, the marine organisms began to feel something, something fresh. These feel fresh impulses bore a striking resemblance to humanity's passive desire to return to the Earth's surface. 
Spurred by these impulses, and whatever else may have been floating in the polluted waters, the sea creatures began to evolve rapidly. Each species developed pulmonary respiration, mobility, and other traits consistent with land-dwelling creatures. They began to adapt. Their intelligence grew at a remarkable pace across generations. Some species even gained extraordinary camouflage capabilities. A point of no return arrived. The sea creatures of Alterna set foot on dry land and never looked back. Like humans, they strove for the surface. Of course, survival on land was harsh, but the creatures were persistent. Soon, they found the tunnels that humans used to escape the apocalypse. With their path forward now clear, these fresh fledgling beings left the ruins of Alterna behind and set their sights on the surface world. Wow! So that is the story of the Inklings and all the other creatures that we see running around in this Splatoon world. That is so interesting that we now have that backstory and sort of that insight on how this world came to be in that way. That is super duper interesting. And I think that's gonna wrap it up here. We really don't have too much more to do. So next episode, we'll be moving to site number six and what will be leaving us there. I, I hope that we can at the least find Captain Cuttlefish. We'll have to look all over for him. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.